What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hey, folks, how's it going? You know what it is, and you definitely know what I do, so here's another one. I want to give another topic today, and we're going to see. Let's go. Yeah, you know what it is going in on this today. See, today I'm going to talk about the, the, how can I put it, the, you have to watch out who you let in the black community. Because, see, I'm in this one group. It's an open group on Facebook, so everybody can see what I post. And I have no problem with that because I'm a man and I stand on my own, too. But the deal is it's, it's a black, Afrocentric-oriented group. Now, Afrocentric doesn't mean anti-white. Get that straight. It's a group where we try to have something where we come with a common interest, a common goal to the black community, and then we go from there. But now... Well, one of the questions was asked about homosexuals and how do we feel about homosexuals in the black community. And the statement I have made was that you're going to have to at some point in life, in some point in the discussions, if you're really serious about having the debate and having, having to go to some type of progress, you're going to have to either throw the handle homosexuals to the side or, or ride with them. You're going to have to figure out what you want to do can have two, let me put it this way, you can have two agendas in one group that's coming from, from one goal. That's it. If you're, you See, homosexuals are playing both sides of the fence and they're supporters. Like, if you go in some of these groups, if you say, it's like it's like the, how the old Negro black leaders used to do to people, where if they said something against you, they were racist or anti-black, where they're not. What it is, is homosexuals are trying to use that on black people. And I'm like, they, must have, they, they perf we perfected that. So, it's going to come to a point is you're going to either have to accept them or not accept them as far as in the black agenda. The white agenda, they haven't accepted them and they're fine with that. If you look at the white homosexuals, the white homosexuals did what they had to do. They branched out on their own and I don't fault them that. But if you look at minority homosexuals, minority homosexuals want to try to still cling to the fact of that minority. Yes, you are. But if you look at the case of white homosexuals, white homosexuals are like, hey, whatever it is, we're on our own, let's go. And they're rocking and rolling. They themselves are put themselves in a group that's called homosexuals. Now, they may have ethnic backgrounds, but they, they don't really identify with their ethnic background as much as they do with uh, their homosexuality. And that's the problem. The problem with black homosexuals, they want to play both sides of the fence. They want to get that sympathy from you. But at the same time, they want to cry and whine, well, well, I'm a homosexual. What do you care about it? Here's the point. Here's why I care. There are people out there who will differ with your opinion. That doesn't mean they hate you. It doesn't mean they differ with your opinion. But what the, what the homosexual community is doing and their supporters, say you come out against homosexual, maybe let's say you're religious and you have a religious issue with it, it's against your ethics. Well, all they're going to call you is you're homophobic and here's, here's a popular one, oh, you must be gay, which I don't, I don't like to debate with people like that, number one, because there's no debate when you debate with people like that. All they want to do is disparage, make disparaging comments, they want to throw your name in the mud. It's not productive. And if you ignore them and say, well, why are you ignoring me? You just don't want to debate. Well, they don't know what a debate is, ladies and gentlemen. All they want to do is run your name through the mud and call you names. What type of debate is that? Number one, you're not going to get me that good because I've been called names before. Now, let me go explain what I mean when I say they're going to have to make a point. The homosexuals, the black homo, I'm talking about black homosexuals now. Now, I know I'll get more listeners than that, but I'm talking about the black homosexuals. When it, if you look at the, if you look in the history, well, hell, if you look at recent recent history, gay marriage in the Civil Rights Voting Act, sections four and five, were in the Supreme Court at basically the same time. Well, they were in the Supreme Court at the same time. There were just differences as far as when one was uh, decisions were rendered. They were in this. They were sections three and four of the Voting Civil Rights Acts to make it where states can do what they can do. You know, with the voting, you know how it goes. And uh, gay marriage, they can marry. But uh, here's the facts. If you look at it, black homosexuals, African American homosexuals, were not fighting for your voting rights, ladies and gentlemen. And which, I, which in turn is their voting rights, because they're still black whether they like it or not. But who, who did they side with? They side with the same thing with these Negro preachers and these black, you know, these black buck dancers who say, oh, we should, we should accept them, we should do this, we should do that. Meanwhile, what's happening? They're, they're having parades down Flatbush Avenue with, about homosexuality. Meanwhile, down in Alabama, North Carolina, you can't vote. 
So where did they get you? Where did where were they at? Where they supporting you? Now I'm not bashing them. I mean, because here here's another one of their favorite little tactics. Oh, you're worried about who's sleeping in somebody else's bed. No, I'm not worried about sleep, who's sleeping in somebody else's bed. To me, it's the point of I don't want this taught my I don't want this taught to my kids in school. I don't want to come home with you know. Well, why does Johnny have two two parents? I mean, two male parents or, or two female parents? What am I supposed to say? Because Johnny's parents are freaks. I mean, we're all freaks, but you know, freaks. But but I'm just saying, I'm not disparaging anybody. What you want to do in the privacy of your own home, as long as you're not hurting anybody, as long as it's not little kids, go for it. But don't expect other people to like salute you for your that lifestyle. What is what is what's what's good to you sometimes is not always good for you. Now I'm not going to tell you how to live your life because if you if you gay now you're probably not going to change any type of time soon. So live your life. I'm just saying don't expect a lot of people, especially like myself, to change overnight. Well, I'm not going to change. I don't believe in that. I'm like it gets me is it's the point now is you interracial relationships are frowned upon. But homosexuality is okay. I don't understand this, and I never will understand this. And like I said, if you look, 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 look at Reverend Al Sharpton, for instance. He's a reverend, supposedly. This is going against his Christian beliefs, supposedly, right? But yet, at the same time, he's on MSNBC, piling up, chumming up with Rachel Maddow. Now, he may have, I'm not going to give him the benefit of the doubt. I mean, he may have. I mean, it's not out of the realm of possibility. He may have pulled Rachel Maddow to the side. He may have a little talks, a little differences. But at the end of the proverbial day, Al Sharpton knew what to do. He knew just to sit there and, hey, get your money and move on. And that's what he's doing. But as far as the lay black, black population, homosexuality goes against everything that you were taught. It goes against your conservative nature, period. I mean, I'm not bashing. I mean, there's a lot of undercovers. Yeah, but what's that got to do with me? And, and like I said, the arguments, well, you must be gay since you're so worried. I could care. Look, man, if you want to be gay and kiss while you're walking down the street, that's the choice you make. That's your business. It doesn't affect my taxes. I don't care. Like, if it would affect my taxes, then I would care. So, and, and like, if you're going to debate, please don't you don't. A lot of people want to trip off my name or whatever, but man, I've been hearing it since I'm a little. You think on the internet, I won't care about it. So I'm just saying at the heart, at the end, at the, whenever this agenda thing gets rolling, if it does, black people are going to have to make some really hard and tough decisions as far as the homosexual, their homosexual brothers and sisters call, are, are, you know, are concerned. So I appreciate all you guys watching and or not watching and listening to this podcast, but. I gotta go and look. Let me tell you another thing. As you can see on these shirts right here, you can see what side they chose. Cause like I said, when gay marriage was gone and civil right voting was getting lost, they went for gay marriage. So what's gonna happen when they when they really get on your team if they were on your team to begin with? So I'm out. Peace.